I know what you're thinking. Bash? That's boomer tier. Grep? Ptu. No thanks. The terminal is due for an improvement, and I'm the only one brave enough to do it. It's time to introduce... Terminal Brain Rot. I've taken boring terminal utilities like grep and rm and turn them into something way better. Do you want to do ls in order to view the contents of your current directory? Boring. Try fafo instead. Or you can of course add arguments to it. Want to use grep so you can find a string inside of a bunch of text files in the current directory? No, just use gyat. For example, you can do gyat dash rn for recursive and also to give you the number of the line and then you do meme and then everything in the current directory and there you go it's found a bunch of instances of the word meme what more could you want really in fact if you want to be really big brained you can combine grep let's say we want to look for errors in our logs we have a little log file here but you see we can combine it with glow up obviously and what this does is it allows us to search for a bunch of instances of the word error and of course we will replace it with skill issue and we do it globally and there you go massive skill issue warning too much brain rot are you afraid that your furry friends on discord will hear about your skill issues just remove the file altogether with yeet so we do yeet log slash log file and there we go it's gone if you want some proof of that Whoops, we can just do this. There you go, there's nothing in there. Want to remove the whole directory? You just do eat dir and logs. And there you go, it's gone. What if you want to sort the text file by line? You just riz it, of course. So we have Italian brain rot, it's a little hidden file, it's fine. Italian brain rot. And when we put the result in riz the brain rot, which I guess shouldn't exist because <laughs> we haven't got to that part of the video yet. Whoopsie, whoopsie. Let me just, um, <clears throat> let me just eat uh, Rizd uh, and also uh, Sigma. <laughs> you didn't see any of this. Okay, perfect. <laughs> what if you want to sort a text file by line? You just Riz it, obviously. So we do, we have a little file called Italian Brain Rot and we put the result in rizzed brainrot.txt. So now, almost use the forbidden command, now we have rizzed brainrot. And of course, we can have a look at the contents of rizzed brainrot, and there you go. They've now been put in order, alphabetically, of course. But wait, what if you don't quite know how one of these utilities works? What if you wanted to learn more about the arguments that Yeet offers you? Might be tempted to use man, but that's outdated. Here we use they instead. So we do they Yeet. <laughs> what do you mean? That worked earlier. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it like this? No. Why doesn't this work? <laughs> This literally worked earlier. Oh my god. Okay, there you go. It works. Don't worry about it. <laughs> cut. Don't leave the same cut. There you go. All you ever wanted to know about the yeet utility. <laughs> Which it wasn't even yeet. <laughs> don't worry about it. Just, this, just, just keep going. Keep going. Keep rolling. If you want to read a bunch of guides that I've made for my channel, I have a repo on my GitHub where you can peruse them at your leisure. If you like them, maybe even leave a star so that you can help me earn a one-way ticket into corporate hell. Thanks. Now that our lines are sorted, maybe you wish to remove any duplicates on adjacent lines. That's easy, you just do sigma. So we do sigma rears the brain rot, uh, and then we put it into sigma brain rot, of course. So now, it looks like this. We've removed any duplicates on adjacent lines. Obviously, we had to sort it first, uh, sorry, I mean riz it first, in order for this to actually work. Do you want to see the differences between those two files? Here we don't diff, we beef. So we do rizzed, and then we do sigma, and there you have it. Want to get a closer look at the newly created file? You don't cat, 
you may have noticed that I used cat earlier, but we'll just ignore that. You don't cat, that's what your grammar does. Instead, you spell the T. So we do your sigma, brain rot, there we go. Now, what do you do if you want to find a file? You recall that the file was a TXT, somewhere in your current directory, but you're not sure which. Well, that's easy. You just thirst after the file. So we do thirst in the current directory, name, and we look for any TXT files. Oh, there we go. That's it. Sigma grind set. That's what, <laughs> that's what I was looking for. What if you wanted to copy it, you know, for safekeeping? Simple. You manifest the file. So you do mindset slash sigma grind set and you do mindset again slash sigma grind set and then you add a little tilde. So now if we just go into mindset and we fafo, obviously, there you go. What if you want to find some patterns inside of a text file, like maybe every word that starts with capital M and E? Orc? <laughs> LOL, no. You do pick me. So you can do, you can use the following regex. Uh, let's say, like, yeah, let's do from there and then close. And then, boop, boop, boop. And we look into promo. Perfect. Now, what if you're writing a script and you want to print something to the command line? Echo? Nope. You simp. Now, let's say that you want to, I don't know, write something like this. You know, something, something very benign like that. There you go. And it works. What if you spend so much money that you forget what time it is? Date? Nope. You ghost. See, there's a there's a there's layers there with that joke. Let me know. Let me know in the comments if you get it. Perhaps this all resulted in you downloading a suspicious app and running it. So now you need to see what apps you have running. Htop, that's what your nan used to run. We, we do vibe check. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> what is this? Too much noise? Do you know the name of the app you want the ID of? You just do the following. So you do PS and then you pipe the result into GYAT and we look for sus.sh, which we know is the file that we're looking for and boom, there you go. Well, the first, uh, I guess, is the actual grep command and then the second is the ID of the actual sus.sh app, which is 28446. Now, you might be tempted to do kill, but that's not what we do here. Here, we cancel. So we do 28446, and there you go. The app has been terminated. If we run the previous command, it's no longer there. Finally had enough, and you want to go touch some grass? Easy, just do oof.